how I discovered Dr. Lefebvre's works. At the time, I was a young student and, with a friend and his brother, we decided to invest in a method for developing the memory. After having bought a couple methods, one of which is very famous and still available today, we noticed very quickly that these methods did not develop the memory as such. Even though making memory work can develop it, these methods were rather based on mnemonic techniques. So, it was rather a set of techniques which, according to the authors, would help memorizing. However, on one hand, when you're a student, you don't have much spare time for learning how to learn. And, on the other hand, such methods remain rather tedious. One day, in the books section of a health food store in Paris, I discovered Dr. Lefebvre's book, Phosphenic Mixing Applied to Education. After reading the back cover, I was attracted to the concept of learning how to transform the energy of light into mental energy. And that is how I started studying all my lessons with this method. At the rate of 8 to 9 hours of studying a day using the phosphenes. 9 hours of studying per day is a normal rate of study for a student who's preparing for an exam. Of course, in 9 hours you do a lot of phosphenes. I explain in the ABC of phosphenic mixing how to do phosphenes and how to use them. Then, after successfully passing that exam, I continued to apply the principle of phosphenic mixing systematically to all my reading. I also practiced a few head sways, because in his book, Dr. Lefebvre recommended to practice them for activating the brain. After several months, much to my surprise, I noticed an influence on my sleep. Since my early childhood, I only dreamt sporadically. Suddenly, I started to experience fantastic dreams every night, not only in color, but also dreams of flying. The dreams always started the following way. I was running, and when I reached a certain speed, I would jump, and that would allow me to take off. Then, I moved on to the stage of conscious dreaming, I would tell myself, hey, I am dreaming, I am conscious that I am dreaming. I moved on from the stage of conscious dreaming to the stage of directed dreaming. As I could become conscious that I was dreaming, why not try to influence the contents of the dream? Why not try to fly over mountains or forests? Why not try to take off in the direction of Egypt or the Great Wall of China? or any other place. In the end, I even entertained myself by going through vast stretches of water, traveling underwater, and that allowed me to understand what Atlantis really was, and I found out where that mysterious city is actually located. If you practice headsways, you too can rediscover and visit Atlantis. I talk about that in detail, in the Phosphenic Energy Universe magazine that's available for free download on our website. As you can notice, it is the utilization of Dr. Lefebvre's basic principle, associating a phosphine to studying and headsways, that led me to a new study that eventually provided a new orientation to my life. Indeed, once I had observed the effects of his method, I decided to buy all Dr. Lefebvre's books in one go. I spent a year putting the content of each book into practice. First, I read them all, writing down a few notes. That allowed me to understand that there was several types of exercises. I thus started a notebook for each type of exercise and read the books again, but this time in the chronological order, so I could find my bearings better. 
I systematically transferred the exercise that Dr. Lefebio described in the corresponding notebook. I thus extracted and classified all the exercises by category in a notebook for the exercises of headsways, a notebook for the exercises of rotation, a notebook for the exercises of ocular convergence, a notebook for the exercises of static tensions. I also had a notebook for the breathing exercises and another one for miscellaneous exercises. At the time, I was a young graduate martial arts teacher and after practice with my students, we started a special lesson during which we experimented with the exercises recommended by Dr. Lefebio. We all enjoyed not only the experiences described by Dr. Lefebio, but many more phenomena. One day, convinced by the value of Dr. Lefebio's works, I decided to meet him. If you want to find out more about that period, you can read Chromos number no. 1, available on this website. In this booklet, I relate my meeting with Dr. Lefebio as well as the detail of the initiation that he was kind enough to give me. This is what allows me to provide you today with the knowledge of phosphenism. If you have made your way to this video, it means that you have undertaken a search, a quest, and you are wondering if phosphenism can fulfill your expectations. It is true that phosphenism comprises many technical exercises, some of which are difficult to perform, but perseverance is the key, as it is the case with many other disciplines. However, you need to set precise objectives for yourself and understand that it will require efforts to attain them. Anyway, nothing can ever be truly gained without genuine efforts. Think about how many hours sports persons need to practice in order to train for the Olympics. The difference with a phosphenist is that the sports person will reach the peak of his or her physical possibilities and then will slowly decline with age. In our case, once neurological connections have been created, they will continue to propel us into fantastic experiences at the expense of less and less efforts. Let me remind you that all authentic initiatory experiences are related to neurological connections in certain areas of the brain. These connections can only be produced by the practice of rhythmophosphenic exercises such as headways. It is wrong to believe that real results, like out-of-body experiences and the awakening of the chakras, can be obtained by simply practicing relaxation. If that was the case, I would be the first to practice those exercises. The difficulty consists in understanding that certain persons think that they are living a psychic experience when they are actually only experiencing what I would call sensory fun. Let me provide you with an example so that you understand me well. If you go to a cinema with a giant 180 degree screen in an amusement park, depending on the film projected, you will experience multiple sensations without even moving from your seat. This is even truer today if you watch a 3D film. You will have the impression that your body becomes lighter or heavier, the impression that you are falling or moving up, or even that you are becoming smaller or bigger, that you are flying or floating without effort in the air. At the end of the day, what you are experiencing is simply sensory fun, because the film calls upon certain sensory organs. However, that does not consist in psychic phenomena. You are stuck in a sensory dead end and you wish that the sensations continue as they are very pleasant. Initiatory phenomena only rarely take place during practice. Instead, they generally occur 12 to 24 hours after a session. Consequently, you should not confuse sensory fun, which only provokes a moment of pleasure, with initiatory exercises that lead to genuine experiences that are much richer in intensity. Experiences often occur during the night, projecting consciousness up to higher planes that are often called cosmic planes in esotericism. 
Initiatory phenomena go much beyond the sensations that result only from our own personal creation. You can start to practice phosphinism with a simple light bulb, as long as it is a daylight one. With the information contained on this website, you can already obtain many results. Maybe phosphinism will not correspond to your present level of progression. However, if you decide to tread on this path, do it fully and follow the advice provided on this website. After having experimented a little bit by yourself, and if you have the feeling that phosphinism can fulfill your expectations, do not waste any time and listen to Dr. Lefebio's complete course on MP3. It is included with the Platinum subscription. Then, join us for more and more advanced experiences with the video training courses. On this website, you will find several hundred testimonies from people who practice phosphenism. That is quite rare for any site, and that shows how much benefit can be obtained from practicing phosphenism. There is also a forum that you can consult and on which you can share your experiences with other persons who practice phosphinism. For many of us, the years pass by quickly, and we often realize that we actually achieve very little during a single year. That is why I have put at your disposal all the necessary tools that will allow you to advance rapidly. Many of them can be downloaded for free on our website. For those of you who want to go much further, I suggest that, after having studied Dr. Lefebvre's course, you join us for the intensive sessions we practice during the video training courses. I hope to see you soon.